this is relaxed here I had technical issues with music in this video so this is a re-upload of the previous video that I have fixed Greetings and salutations, Relaxed Gamer Nation, and welcome back to Space Engineers Soul Survival on Pertam. Baseline Survival. Yeah, so not much has happened. Um, off screen, I think I started building this, or I might have done it on screen, I'm really not sure, but we have a whole bunch of junk around, like there, there, over there, etc., and I want to get rid of it. I do not have Bob. I probably will not have Bob for this series because I think it just makes things a little too easy. And I am going to build a grinding pit. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a grinding pit with a hinge door? That might actually be a good idea. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to build it. I'm thinking somewhere in this area. area no I think in this area would be good out here maybe yeah I think in this area so I have conveyor access areas already I could hook that up Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to probably be about five by five. Five by five should be fine. Actually, that's a lot of grinders. Maybe a slope grinding pit? That's a good idea. Okay. I have an idea. But first, I need to get some parts. Some parts, thank you. Steel, please. My typical setup for parts. Let's top up my fuel. I have one hydrogen bottle, which I think is full. It's not. some of this stuff that we're not going to need because we upgraded. So we should have one bottle always in stock. And to ignore. Hydrogen bottle. There we go. Hydrogen bottle. We want one. bottle we want one and okay so that won't show up on the screen but it should still try crafting just one yeah that's what we're gonna do so the idea that I'm thinking of on the fly is we're going to use some slope blocks as you do, uh, heavy armor. Something like that. Maybe going in the other direction. Maybe over here. We probably do it over here. But still going in the other direction. Let's try this. So we're going to do that. We're going to have a slope block that, that goes down into a shallower slope like that. And then underneath here, we're going to put uh, some collectors. Which we're going to have to dig out. Maybe 
bunch of uh, info users. Maybe something like that. Fortunately, there's only a connection on the bottom, which is going to be annoying, but whatever. Should be fine, right? It's not going. It. The power. Yes, we're not connected to the grid yet. Yeah, that should be fine. Good. Seriously, I thought I had the parts for it. Sometimes a build planner just disagrees with me. So the basic premise is to drop the ship or whatever it is in here, the block parts, into here. It goes down this and it slopes down into there. Uh, any material that was in the ship will be tossed through the conveyors here, the collectors. The collectors will take it out into the base and store it and or disassemble it. Simple, right? So I am going to do that. This is probably going to take me a bit and I will bring you back as soon as it's done and we'll do some tests. See you in a moment. We're back and ready for a little bit of testing here. Now, you might notice that I have two sensors here. And I have a sound block. Well, the sound block is going to do an alert. Uh, basically, warning us that the grinders are on. But I think I'm going to keep that off for the time being. Because sound blocks can be very annoying. And I don't have a proper sound for it. That actually makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little ship here, we're going to grab this thing, and we're going to drop it in there and see how it works. Um, I suspect a lot of the blocks are going to fly out because I don't have the... Um, the lid on yet, but this is a proof of concept, let's just say. I probably need a more a proper vehicle for this. Maybe I'll do something along the lines of maybe a lifter vehicle with wheels or the lock is on. Gotta find a place to latch on. Okay. This thing's uh, gyros are kind of crazy. I haven't changed that yet. Okay, so we're going to drop this in here. Pop it. Watch it. See, that lid will definitely help with those roadblocks that fire off at lightning speed. But I think it's working pretty good. Now we can only put limited sized items in here. Like That should be decent. I also have a little shut off safety sensor, so if uh, by chance I get in here, the grinders will shut off immediately. <laughs> so my next task is to put a lid on it. I 
think we'll probably bring the loot from this side. Maybe I can do like a rope. Or clamshell it, but basically here and there. Into the center. Yeah, that's what we'll do. And because that's gonna take a while and I don't wanna bore you guys, uh, let's uh, let's put another cut in here. <laughs> See you in a moment. Alrighty, so let's do another test of this. I've done a few tests already, but we have junk all over the place, so. A little bit here, a little bit there. I chopped this vessel down because my little scout ship that I'm flying right now is not equipped for heavy lifting. <laughs> so I had to chop it down into multiple pieces. And I'm kind of still fighting with the timer block. Um, because I have this set on the timer block. Oh. See, this is not meant for the other thing. Oh. Closes the doors. Grinder. Grinder should start up in a moment here. Once it's done, what is going on? Did I wreck something? Yeah. Doesn't help when I damage things. Not one bit. Oh, gyroscope got damaged too. Eh. It's not necessarily a bad thing since I have two of them. So yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to close the doors and after about 10 seconds it, uh, it turns the grinders on and then once the sensor rips, it turns the grinders off. I guess I gotta build a, uh, a relatively heavy lifter vehicle in order to move this stuff around. So that I can clean up the area around my base.
is definitely unfortunate. Perhaps I gotta reverse these a little. block as well. Probably employ. give me enough of a lip, enough of a drop, get it down there a lot easier. Full. Well, that's unfortunate. There we go. Even better. Okay, so it works pretty good. Uh, there's, of course, a miscellaneous bits that uh, find their way. Find their way in awkward locations somewhere. Uh, we have to defend the sensors, maybe? Maybe get this, uh, get these armor blocks done. And I gotta add more thrusters to this or actually build a, well, probably build a specific vehicle or or moving things around.
But I think that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I am going to continue to clean up my base area. Like I said, I'll probably build a specific vehicle for hauling this stuff. Because although this works, it's not ideal. Sometimes it just breaks. Yeah. That's like almost getting crushed. Up in your step. Okay, there you go. Anyway, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.